So what's the difference between a webinar and a live stream anyway? Let's find out because there are actually many different kinds of live stream webinar group call scenarios. And if you want to use this kind of live online event to grow your business, it's important to know the difference, to know which one to use in what situation and to know which tools are best. Hello, I'm Shane Malach from activegrowth.com. And one of the reasons I'm making this video is because when I was testing all the webinar platforms, I noticed that many different tools that are branded as webinar tools have different features that make them suitable for different scenarios. And so depending on what your business is and what your goals are, you might be better off using one of them over the other. But then most people have never really thought about, well, what's the difference between different types of live events? So that's what we'll cover today. There are four different types of online live events that I think it's important to distinguish between. Number one, there is the meeting or group call. Number two is the webinar. Number three is the live stream. And number four is the evergreen or automated webinar event. So let's start from the top. Number one is the group call or live meeting. And here, this is something that you do usually with a small group of people. This would generally be with maybe 50 people, but usually even less, maybe a dozen people in a room. And you have a group call. And the important things here are, number one, it has to be private. This is something that isn't just like, oh, sign up here to join. Anyone can join, share it online kind of thing. This would be something that you do with your private coaching group, for example. And the emphasis is mainly on the personal interaction you have with people. Here, typically, you want it to be easy for people to not just interact by chat or writing questions, but you want people to be able to speak to you and even also share their camera and perhaps also their screen. So it's really much more of a collaborative thing. And this is what you would do for small group Q&A sessions and for group coaching sessions. The second type of event would be a webinar. And a webinar is also private, meaning that it is not being published on the web where anyone can watch at any time. It's something where people have to sign up. There's usually some kind of an opt-in gate or something where they'll have to sign up, register for the webinar, and then they're part of an exclusive group of people who can join. A webinar is typically done to a large audience and generally the larger the audience, the better. So usually hundreds of people and you know if you can get them even up to a thousand people or more and a webinar is most like a seminar which is that someone is on stage talking to the crowd and the crowd is mostly passively consuming the content and that makes it different from a group call or meeting where there's much more engagement and interaction between everyone on the call for a webinar, the emphasis will be on education and on selling. So typically, this is something where your goal would be to deliver valuable content to a large group of people. And this is something that can be used to grow your audience and also grow your authority among people. And it may also include selling. So where you want to have marketing tools and the possibility of converting those visitors, converting that audience to a sale of some kind. The third type of event is a live stream. And live streaming is all the rage right now. And live stream, what makes it different is that it is public and open. A live stream is happening and it might be happening on Facebook or on YouTube or on some other platform. But the thing is that anyone can kind of just wander in at any time and watch this happening. There's no opt-in gate, there's no registration. There's not this closed or private aspect that we've had in the other types of events. The emphasis in a live stream is going to be mainly on entertainment. It is about entertaining a large group of people and you want to reach the largest possible audience generally. And you're also hoping to reach a broader audience. You're hoping to use the live stream in order to reach more people. And this is why the emphasis on entertainment is important. Because it's not a closed group, there's not this kind of scarcity factor. If someone's watching a live stream, they get uninterested, they can just leave and usually the replay is available forever for free whoever wants it. So there's not kind of this, this captive audience aspect. And so you want the live stream generally to be fun and entertaining and something that people might be enticed to share with others. Also a really important note about live streams is that both Facebook and YouTube promoted live streams on their platforms when they introduced them as a new feature. But we have to keep in mind that that's artificial. So that is 
basically them tweaking the algorithm to show live streams to more people than non-live streams. So it doesn't necessarily mean that live streams are more popular than pre-recorded videos. It just means that they've given those features a push and depending on how they work out in the long term, that extra boost in traffic or reach you can get might disappear. And then the final example we have is an evergreen or automated webinar. And this is an extra private type of event because the idea here is that for the attendee, it seems like a live webinar. And so you have to register for it. It takes place at a certain date and time. And it's not something like a video where you can just scrub back and forth in it. So it feels live, but it's actually a pre-recorded event. And usually this is used only in a marketing context and almost only for sales webinars. So usually the whole point of this is that you have an event where people can sign up and you can kind of get that scarcity factor, you get that live factor for a sales webinar as part of a marketing funnel, but you don't have to actually be there and present every time. Out of the events we talked about, the webinar event is really the only one that makes any sense to automate. The group coaching meeting or the live stream, they just don't make any sense to automate at all because of the nature of what they are. The webinar is the one thing, and specifically the sales webinar is the one thing that you can automate and integrate in the marketing funnel. So that's an overview over the different types of live events that you can use to grow your business. And it's important to choose the right one for the thing you're trying to accomplish, but it's also important to use the right tools because that's difficult to do. And because like I said, all kinds of platforms advertise themselves as a webinar platform but they might be more or less useful for different scenarios, I've put together a quiz. So I'll link to this below and you can simply answer a couple of questions and it will show you the platform that I most recommend for the use case that you're looking for. If you have any further questions about these different types of live events and any questions about webinars, live streams, group coaching, and so on, let me know by leaving a comment below.